Wagner leader Prigozhin speaks for first time following mutiny. The Kremlin made a deal with Yevgeny Prigozhin and his mercenary army, the Wagner Group, after he led uprising over the weekend. Prigozhin was given amnesty along with his soldiers and ordered to relocate to Belarus to prevent a potential crisis in Moscow. Russian mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin said on Monday, June 26, that a one-day mutiny by his Wagner force had been intended not to overthrow Russia's government, but to register a protest over what he said was its ineffectual conduct of the conflict in Ukraine. In his first public comments since ending the mutiny late on Saturday, Prigozhin repeated his frequent claim that Wagner was the most effective fighting force in Russia and even the world, and that it put to shame the units that Moscow had sent into Ukraine on February 24, 2022. He said the way it had been able to seize the southern Russian city of Rostov-on-Don without bloodshed and to send an armed convoy to within 200 kilometers of Moscow had been testament to the effectiveness of his fighters. We showed a master class, as it should have been on February 24, 2022. We did not have the goal of overthrowing the existing regime and the legally elected government, he said in an 11-minute audio message released on the Telegram messaging app. Prigozhin renewed an allegation, so far unsupported by evidence, that the Russian military had attacked a Wagner camp with missiles and then helicopters, killing about 30 of its men, and said this had been the immediate trigger for what he called a march of justice. Prigozhin really embarrassed Putin just to show him how it's done. That is frankly absurd, LMAO. I like how Prigozhin says he didn't want to topple the Russian government while seriously destabilizing and undermining that same Russian government. He just slapped a best before date on Putin's presidency. The only Russian citizen who can mount a protest, even an armed one, of his country and not be arrested. Prigozhin as a war criminal, there are very few places he can go and not face capture and extradition to face justice for his war crimes. He dug a very deep hole for himself. However, the most interesting thing that Prigozhin said was when last week he admitted that there was absolutely no basis for Rusia to attack Ukraine, and that the Rusian losses are staggering, that the figures of damaged UA equipment were ridiculously inflated by the MOD, and above all, he also said that Putin himself, not MOD, was senile, or even worse, acting like a child. These are things that cannot be unsaid. As long as Prigozhin is alive he's a danger to just about everybody, including himself. The epitome of a mad lad. From what happened last week and what have been said by Prigozhin that the military was very slow in supplying logistic and ammunition to the field, it seems that the army do not really give full support for war in Ukraine. Prigozhin also should learn that there is no way back after challenging a dictator. Dictator will never forget nor forgive who challenge him. I am afraid the story of Trotsky will repeat. History is very good teacher, but very few people take lesson from it. I'm very surprised that this guy is still alive. Weird how people are praising this guy as a hero when he asked for tactical nukes against Ukraine. Assuming this thing is even remotely what it seems, which is debatable because are the sheer strangeness of it all, the fact Putin made an address and ran away changes things quite a lot. 